Hey everyone and welcome to another Matchbox Monday. Uh, yesterday I did um, September stash ads and as part of that I showed you this kit that I bought uh, recently and suggested that this will be another um, match, old Matchbox kit because it's in 176 scale. Um, so I thought I'd do um, a Matchbox Monday of it to make absolutely sure that I'm not talking out my arse and it is um, the old uh, Matchbox kit. So I'll get the um, sprues and we'll have a look at it together. So here's the first sprue and as we all know by now one of the giveaways is that you've got a diorama base for the model um, which is something that Matchbox included within their builds um, of the armour kits. Um, we've got the um, axles on this sprue as well, we've got the, uh, the chassis, um, road wheels, or sorry tyres I should say referring to it like it was a tank. We've got um, British Commander there. Um, we've got um, some of the transmission. Um, that's I think that is part of the dio, that uh, tyre on there. And then we've got some, um, can't quite make out through here, I don't know whether those are ammunition boxes and jerry cans to, to go on the vehicle. Up here, again, the other giveaway for Matchbox kits is the PK number. And when I get this thing to focus, thank you. We can see that it's PK75 um, and we've got made in and it would have had England there. Um, but they've uh, smudged it out because obviously that was the old uh, Matchbox reference. So there's just um, two sprues for this kit and I have to confess um, the flash on this is the worst I have seen on any of the Revelry Pops of the Matchbox um, um, kits. Uh, you know around the, um, the wheels there there's uh, quite a lot. Um, so it's interesting that uh, that is the case if we look up here as well on these other mud guards they look you know very uh, flash heavy um we got the side of the vehicle there and we got the top of the vehicle on here now i thought uh, and i think i mentioned this uh, yesterday some bad flash on that as well there i thought this vehicle had two armament variants i think twin machine guns and then there was another one with um like a 20 millimeter in the machine gun but it would appear that this has only got one um variant which is the um the machine sorry the 20 millimeter and the um the single machine gun so i'll have to have a look at the matchbox version that i've got of this to see if that's the case on that as well but i suppose it would be so i'm hoping this is going to be a straightforward build obviously there's quite a bit of clean up though as we saw with the flash on it um, I don't know how many steps there are uh, that's number two number three four five six seven Eight, nine, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and then 22. What I like about this um, kit uh, is the decal options. You've got, um, you can do um, eight army. North Africa 42-43 here's that vehicle continued showing the top side and the uh, two ends 
Then you've got one here that's um, <clears throat> near Monte Cassino in February 1944. Interestingly, it's got a German Balkan cruise on it. So I'm not quite sure what that referring to. I can only assume that it's a captured vehicle being used by the German army, but you would think they would tick out all the other information like this uh, mark in here and the one on the back saying Isle of Ely. So I'll, I'll have to perhaps have a look at the information on that. And uh, again, that's showing you the um, the paintwork on the uh, upper surfaces and the uh, front and rear. So there's two decal options. I thought there were more, but um, I was confused because the um, additional pages showed the um, upper surfaces and front and rear. So there you go guys, it, uh, it is a matchbox kit as I've shown, um, PK75, it's another one that I'm happy to have in the stash. Um, I don't know whether to combine this with the other matchbox, sorry with the matchbox version I got and have them both on the same diorama, uh, that would be quite cool. <coughs> or to put one on the base that's provided in the kit and the other one uh, on a completely different diorama, I don't know. Anyway guys, um, I hope your week has started well, look after yourselves and I'll catch up with you soon.